everyone, this is Sai here. Today we'll be going over the introduction to Suite Analytics workbook in NetSuite. So if you haven't already used the workbook before, this is for both beginners and advanced users and how to get started using the workbook and the data sets inside NetSuite. So what exactly is the Suite Analytics workbook? So it uses the native NetSuite uh, warehouse model where you can create a workbook which references a data set. So there are some pre-existing templates inside uh, the module and the dashboard. So today we're gonna look into like a transaction detail template. So all I would have to do is first go into the home, home dashboard, uh, like the menu analytics and click on this, then choose the transaction detail. So once you're on the screen, you would see that this gives you um, a look and feel of a workbook where you would have your workbook name on the top. I'm just gonna make a transaction demo. So you can end this here. So you have your data set access here and the fields that are bring, being brought over from this data set are over here. So in this template, you see that from here, you, you can create your own pivots, right? You can see the transaction by the type and the count over here. You can also see the account turnover, which are already available by default in this account. See, so Suite Analytics Workbook allows you to slice and dice the data inside NetSuite and is a robust way to like do your analysis and like settle service analytics on the fly. You can also, if you click on the plus sign here, you can also add in your own tables and new, new pivots and charts. So like if you wanted to like have a, a trend line, for example, When I click on fresh, so here you go. I can change the properties from a column chart, for example, here. And going back to the Suite Analytics workbook, you can see that the, the, the all of these fields which are shown here are available. So what I'm gonna do here and for this exercise is go to the data set, add in a few fields, make maybe I add in a criteria. This is similar to a save search in NetSuite. So you can look up for any fields. For example, I wanna bring in like a location. So I just, loop over and bring in the location. See this? Oh, it's as easy as that. So what we wanna do is based on the location, we wanna see the um, amount of transactions or like the, you can do a sum and the count of transactions by location. So now I'm gonna apply this to the workbook. 
for this existing data set and you can also save changes as and call it transaction detail demo add an additional description just gonna go to test and click on save so this is a relatively easy way to do things in netsuite if you're um, not too uh, well versed with using formulas and save searches there there's plenty of customizable in Suite Analytics workbook. So now I'm going to go into my, my chart, make it a basic column chart, remove the date, we're just going to put the location. And I'm, be, be sure to select the refresh to see updates after every change you make. Okay, so now you, sh you should be able to see the amount by each location. Um, and if you wanted to like pivot this, let's see, and let's click on refresh. See how it gives you a, a full picture of each location and how the amount is associated with it. Say, for example, you didn't want the, uh, the amount so let's take for example just wanted to get the count of transactions in each location right so we just remove this and then click on refresh there you go so you can see that orlando has the highest amount of transactions compared to virginia which is the second and then we have no location too so which are like the all of these transactions are not tagged so these are some of the analysis you can get right off the board in the workbook module of sweet analytics hope this intro section was helpful for you guys and follow us for more tips and tricks but using